Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Legendary 11 on Steam. The game is also available on PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox. Legendary 11 is an arcade football game developed by Eclipse Games. So what's it like to play? Well, control-wise, you've got the expected actions such as short and long passes, shoot, through balls, sprint, special actions, and slide tackles. But I have to say that each action felt very sluggish, with the buttons seeming to have a degree of lag from one press to the next. The matches also had this sluggish feel, with a slow and kind of lacking any fluidity feel. The animation didn't help, as it's like watching a group of tin men running around in stop motion. The passing felt robotic, shooting was basic, and the special moves that are supposed to add a wow factor actually took away any challenge of scoring. Also, the AI is pretty bad, especially with the goalkeepers who appear to be glued to their goal line. In terms of modes, there's online, championship mode, and several other cups within it. Legendary matches see you take a team from history in a certain scenario, and there is also edit team mode, which is pretty basic. On the whole, it's a pretty disappointing and drab affair that felt a bit misleading. Like, if you watched a trailer for this game, you might think it looks like really fluid, good fun. Oh, how wrong you would be. In terms of the visuals, it definitely is colorful, bright and bold. But again, it relies on this vintage nostalgia to an era with permed hair, porn star moustaches and short shorts. It attempts to present itself as fun, but it really isn't much fun at all. The animation is wooden and clunky and it has no smooth finish to it, making general actions quite painful to watch. What about the sound? Well, it gets worse. The sound effects for the crowd are possibly the worst I've ever heard in a football game. It literally feels like there's no one in the stadium. The voiceover commentator has zero charisma and in general, the audio is appalling. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? It's very colorful. Yes, that's the only good point. What's bad? Where to start? Well, the gameplay, it's slow. It's awkward. It's unresponsive. The audio is terrible. It's not fun to play at all. And the World Cup format is also wrong. And it doesn't feel anything like football, really, when you're playing it. So, what is the verdict? A Legendary 11 is another colourful arcade football game in a long line of terrible examples of how not to replicate the sport or make a fun game. Football fans will not enjoy it. Arcade fans will not enjoy it. I honestly don't know who would. The gameplay is tiring, slow, clunky as hell, and it's probably the worst football game I've ever played, and I've played loads. There is nothing legendary about it. It's a terrible game that's had all its budget spent on PR, advertising, and making it appear fun. The cold, hard reality is very different, and I would strongly recommend you avoid this at all costs. So my score for Legendary 11 is 2 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.